to my channel. Get excited, we're trying something new today. I might be a little bit late on this, late on the train. I know these like these thingies that you put your hair inside and it makes your hair really like curly or wavy. I'm, these like went super viral like two to three years ago, I believe, but I personally never ever tried them. The good thing about me being late on the train is that there's tons of tutorials already on YouTube for this. So I've sat down and watched a bunch of people use these. There were things that I liked, there were things that I didn't like. So I've kind of taken all the good things from everybody's tutorials and we're gonna kind of roll it into here and put in lots of effort, okay? So this can come out good and hopefully for it to last us. Like I'm aiming to get at least three days out of this. I would also like for y'all to know that I'm very dedicated to this style. Any style that includes having to do a blowout or anything, I'd like to make sure that I have some good weather coming over the next couple of days. Like there's no point in knowing that you have a rainy week ahead and you go and blow dry your hair and do like a fun cute style that as soon as you walk outside, it's over. And I'm a dog mom. I'm outside twice a day because that's my boss. So um, the dedication is real. We have a bunch of sunny days coming up here in Atlanta. Thank the Lord because it's been really rainy and it's also really nice and cold. So all the odds are in our favor right now and I'm really hoping that this style comes out absolutely amazing. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, I'm dripping like literally all over myself. Let me just go ahead and take this out. So we're starting with freshly washed hair. I used the Melon Hair Care Shampoo and then I did a nice little moisturizing treatment with the Authentic Beauty Hydrate Mask, which is amazing. And then I rinsed it out completely and this is how we're looking, 100% product free. One of these days, we gotta do a cute like week with my hair with like no product or something, you know? Or like minimal product. That would be very interesting to see how big my hair would get. Probably a little scary, but comment below. Let me know if you think it'd be worth it to try. So first decision I decided is that I actually wanna try these on blowout. I saw some people that wet styled it, like literally just went from this straight into applying these. I personally feel like it definitely got a lot more smoother, sleeker, just nicer results in general from a blowout. So that's what we're gonna get into first. I also kinda of need to decide like, Am I gonna do a middle part? Should I middle part it? So this is what it would look like as a middle part. My bangs are still pretty, pretty short, especially like I have some extra short pieces. This is one of my extra short pieces. Or do we do like a side? I guess we can kind of like fully decide on that as we go along. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of section it out so we can get this blow drying going. I kind of also want to experiment today with my blowout technique. You guys have seen me use the Rev Air multiple times. I think it works pretty great. Today I really wanted to try using my Dyson this time. I do have this blowout, whoo, dropping things. So I have this blowout comb attachment that just kind of goes in here and then we could blow dry that way. But I was also looking through my stuff and saw that I had a brand new Tangle Teaser brush that I have never used before. The bristles are super, super close together. This is called their Professional Finishing Hair Brush for smoothing, shine, and hair extension. So I mean, it kind of sounds like something that would be really good for a blowout, so let's give her a little bit of a try. I'm gonna take this off and just put on the little smoothing blow dry section. <laughs> I feel like I don't have a ton of experience blow drying my hair, so I'm not, you know, I don't have that technique down of like holding the brush and the blow dryer, but we're just gonna go. We're just gonna proceed and it'll all be fine. Of course, we gotta start by protecting the hair. This is my favorite heat protectant, the Jisoo Propolis Infused Heat Protecting Spray. It's just a great heat protecting spray that works like a charm because I have not experienced any damage. And it's nice and lightweight. I hate the sprays that are too creamy and then your, your hair when you blow dry it just comes out like really sticky. This doesn't do that at all, so I love it. I'm just gonna kinda spray this in. Ooh, hold on. This is very smoothing, look. Look at that, okay, whew. Okay, 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 I'm excited. Hopefully this blowout goes as good as I think it's going to. How do y'all do this? I need like a third hand. feel like this is just gonna be so much easier. Yep, 
Yeah, I think that was much better and much easier. I feel like my hair was getting really like <clears throat> when I was using the tangle teaser. Um, I'm really trying to get this nice and smooth and sleek as possible. And as easy as possible because I'm not trying to be out here struggling. So I'll just use this brush to kind of detangle and then we'll blow dry with her. So here's the difference of just the Dyson attachment versus the brush and then the attachment. I think it's less frizzy and stuff, so we're just gonna proceed like that. It's less frizzy and also easier to do. And here we are. My favorite thing about a blowout is seeing how big my hair gets. Y'all know I love me some volume and it's just so big and stretched and fun. I love it, it's just cute. Okay, so what do we think now? Do we do a middle part? Let me actually like give it a proper part. Imagine the waves or do we kind of flip her and do like a side part, which gives vibes for sure. Um, and also usually helps to pump up the volume a little bit more. I don't know, part of me is feeling like I wanna try a middle part. Like I'm kind of feeling like this length could be cool like this. And then if anything, if I absolutely hate it, then I could try to finesse and like swoop it over. Yeah, so let's style her in the middle part. Oh. All right, so moment of truth. Let's go ahead and take these out. So my pack came with orange and pink, and I'm trying to decide if there's any difference between the two. Like, is one a looser kind of wave? Is one, I don't know. Let's compare. They're both like the same length, the same style. I guess just different colors for fun because I don't see anything different between the two, which is great. So this is the applicator thing, which I'm a little nervous about, but you know what? Today is all about trying new things. All right, I'm assuming this clicks into this. This is nice and long. We don't need all that length though. Okay, so we'll just use the top and the end piece. The other thing I saw online is some girlies did mousse and some girlies did creams and some girlies did gel. And it's interesting because for this style, you want hold, but you want like strong holds, but a lightweight texture. So for me, where I get that, and if you're OG, you probably already know what I'm about to whip out, is the Dew Moon Step Styler. This foam is great. I use this for my wash and go, so I get a really decent hold, but it is still very nice and lightweight. I just really feel like this is gonna give us everything that we need. Because even when I use this for a wash and go, I get a good little crunch, good amount of hold. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the mousse, and I am going to use a lot. Because I want that hold, I want this to last us, hopefully. So I'm really, really saturating this entire section. And then another top tip that basically everybody said was to twist your roots a little bit. Hook this at the top, okay, and... Oh, why does it feel like it's pulling my hair? <gasps> why does it feel like it's pulling my hair? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I think we got extra hair up in there. All right, so let's try that again. And then it should be able to pull right through. There we go. Yes, okay. So far, top tips that I'm realizing, make sure all your hair is hooked up and then in the top part. Like some of your hair can't be below and like outside of it. All the hair has to fit right in here. So you have to make sure your sections are small enough to do that. And then also when you're doing it, make sure your other sections are clipped up and put away so that no other straggly hairs are trying to get into the thing. Um, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. We're getting there, I'm excited. Okay, 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 okay. At this point, I really have this down to a science and it's very, very easy once you get the hang of it. So first step, prep. Smooth hair, foam hair, twist, hook, push up, and then pull. Nice and easy. To me, this is a lot easier to apply 
the flexi rods. Honestly, I struggle with flexi rods so much, okay? I'm just gonna confess that right now. <laughs> Everybody makes it look so easy, but this to me is like way easier. And here we are. <laughs> I used every single one of these. Um, so, how does it feel? I could absolutely not ever in my life attempt to sleep with these. It's just too much. Um, so I personally, it's how I decided to recommend that you do not plan to like do this like overnight. Just take a day, start in the morning and get your hair dry throughout the day. I'm not too worried about drying time because we did use the mousse. This is my ride or die. It does very, very well at um, drying very quickly. So what I'm actually gonna do is grab my hooded thingy. Actually, I don't even know if this is gonna fit. Cause I don't have one of those just regular hoods. Oh my word, I didn't think ahead. Um, <laughs> you know the TikTok sound? I'm just gonna try it. I mean, you know what, it's better than nothing I feel. I'm gonna plug my Dyson in on the end of here and I'm gonna actually sit in bed, answer some emails, and then probably air dry a little bit. And then I'll be back for us to take these down and see what the final results are. It is 4.17 now. I'm a little bit of an eager beaver. I want to see if these are ready yet. I'm really not sure whether or not this is actually dry, but we are about to find out. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly take out one of these from the back. Is it dry? Wait, I think it's dry. I think it's dry, you guys. If anything, what I could do is take these out and before I separate them, then I can put on my hood dryer properly and give it some more drying time. How about that? Should we just take these out? They're so easy to come out, so you literally just pull. Pull and boom. The curls are definitely set. I can feel a crunch, so that's good. That's always a good thing. All right, we're doing it. Let's just take them out. What is happening? <laughs> is going on? I don't know what I expected. I mean, I knew what I expected, but I just, wow. The thing is, there like was a crunch, but it's like coming out very quickly already. My hair feels very, very soft. So I'm a little worried that this is not gonna last, which is usually the issue with mousse anyway. But let's see. Stay tuned because I'm not gonna end this video until I decide my hair looks too terrible to go on anymore. So hopefully we will have a day three update that's somewhat good. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of lightly separate, but of course to avoid any additional frizz, I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite oil, the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil. And just slowly, just kind of separate the curls a little bit, wherever they kind of naturally separate on their own. If this just gets like poofy, I'm kind of okay with it because I feel like this like waviness with some volume is cute. It is really shiny, which is very, very nice. I love the shine that's going on here, but that's typical Moose Def, okay? Moose Def will give you everything you need. This is cute, she got a cute little bob or whatever. The thing I'm noticing is that like here is nice and smooth, beautiful, but like my ends I feel like is where I had a little bit more struggle. But this is looking kind of cute. Y'all wanna see my gray hair? Gray. Smack dab in the front too, fun fact. My family on my mom's side, they all gray very, very early. I'm talking about from like teenager, you start graying. My mom's actually fully gray, which you guys don't know because she dyes her hair. I keep begging her to just rock the gray, own it. She says she will at some point, but she's not ready for all that yet. Um, but maybe we could help convince her. Comment below if you think my mom should go all gray. It's really crazy to see the versatility of natural hair because how did I go from that big hair 
to then big blown out hair to then this compressed and curled situation here. Like that's so fun, that's so cool. <laughs> but are we feeling, the, oh yeah, the middle part is kinda cute. And there's so much we could do here as well. Like we could kind of pin her up, leave some of these curlies in the front. Wait a minute, this could be a potential like wedding hairstyle. Although we would need to figure out how to get these ends tightened up because you can see the struggle here. This is cute for a little switch out. And like we're talking like a same day type of hairstyle. It's giving like mature 30 year old, sexy, loves herself, knows herself. You better come correct. You better talk to me nice. I really like it, especially the length. I'm gonna go ahead, I need to take Hershey outside for her walkies. I'm gonna come back in, throw on a little bit of makeup, put on a little bit of outfits, get ready for dinner, and then I will check in with you guys and we can see how we're looking. And then like I said, I'm gonna keep filming as long as this hairstyle lasts, basically, so you'll be able to get a full idea of exactly how long this exact routine is gonna last me. Okay, back and thinning like a baddie. Seriously, this is so cute. This is so cute. I love that it has frizzed up a little bit and it's just nice and fluffy. We have some extra volume and I just think with this shape, again, she's bomb. I feel cute. I feel cute, you guys. So this is officially day one, a major success. Super happy with it. I will check back in with y'all tomorrow. Okay, y'all, it is day two and this is how we are looking. It is very interesting with this style because with a twist out or a braid out, you can either retwist it or rebraid it. But this is such a unique kind of shape, a unique kind of vibe that there's no real, like unless I put my hair back and snaked it back through the thingies, there's no other way of kind of like refreshing the pattern. So I also, when I got home last night from dinner, I was like, I am not sure how to go to sleep. I just put like a soft headband in my hair and like literally went to sleep like that. And this is how we're looking. So obviously a little different from yesterday. It is more frizzy, it's bigger and everything. I will also say that there's not as much shine. My hair is definitely looking a little bit more dull today. Um, so I don't hate it, but obviously it's not as popping as it was yesterday. So I'm kind of in that mid area where it's like, I like her, it's fun, it's a cute little switch up, but it's obviously kind of like on its way out. Um, but I don't think we can call it fully done and over yet because she's still, you know, we could still do some things. I'm just gonna go back in with the regular, the same one we used yesterday. Basically the only oil that I ever use because it's my top fave, the Briogeo Strengthening Treatment Oil. And I'm actually gonna like really kind of rub it in there. You know what? Is it just me or did that actually help? I mean, it's still not as shiny as I'm used to with my regular like wash and go curls, but for a big, fluffy, kind of poofy, loose wave kind of style, I'm really not mad at it. You know what also just came to my mind as well? Like what if, right? What if next time we try this, we use a little bit of a lightweight cream with the same mousse could that maybe offer more shine and more, just more stuff, more stuff for this hair, more, more ba ba boom, less dull, more shine, a little more, a little more some some. Like I feel like it's a little bit on the dry side and that's where a cream could come in handy. I just didn't want it to feel too sticky. So I don't know if we find that perfect balance, maybe we'll be able to really find some perfection in this style. I don't know, this is my first time doing it so, who knows, maybe we can try this again um, in a couple weeks or whatever, but this is how we're looking like for now. I'm definitely gonna continue to keep you guys updated with how we're looking, but so far, this is how we're doing on day two, and we're not mad at it. And we're gonna have to end this here on day three. <laughs> uh, you can see my ends are getting extra frizzy now. I really haven't done much to my hair at all. I've just been at home. Bottom line on the style, I had fun with it. I thought it was cute. I thought it was a cute little switch up. It didn't last me very long, but I'm not super mad at it. I give this, if we had to like grade it, if we had to give it a grade, let's grade it. We'll grade this hairstyle probably, I would give it a B. Not a B plus, not a B minus, just a straight 
B because I thought it was cute, I thought it was fun, it was a vibe. And that seems like a fair grade for it, I think. So let me know what y'all thought in the comments below and if you think you'd be trying this. I probably turned you off by the fact that it only lasted two days. Let me know what y'all think in the comments if you agree with my braid for this hairstyle. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of just play around with it a little bit more like off camera test out some new techniques and if I'm able to come up with a really nice technique that gives you a little bit more wear, some more shine, a little bit more, just more pizzazz to the hairstyle, then I will pop back in and let y'all know. Actually, if you have any tips, any little techniques that you think I should try next time, comment those below too because I will be trying them out. Like I said, I am really excited to try some new things this year, have a little bit of fun with y'all, so. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this hairstyle experience. For my hair to be looking like this on a Sunday kind of sucks because I have a whole week ahead of me. So I need to hop in the shower and do something about it. So I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye.